Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Ken with Mr. Truck here. We're doing another exciting accessory review, and we're going right to Canada, Olds, Alberta with hoof grip, livestock flooring. We're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. Let me get uh, this out of the way with the NATEA, because their, their uh, virtual NATEA trader show starts this week. And hoof grip will be there. So you can go on there and ask them questions. You can text them questions. So get on there and, and do that after you, know, you watch this video. Actually, the video will load in a couple of days, so you can do it right now. But anyway, and he'll explain things to you. We're gonna go over a lot of pictures, and I've got some experience with this. I use it on my Logan Coach Trader, and I loved it. I went and watched them install it, and it's, it works great, and we'll go over all those details. But uh, that's what we're doing today. It's hook grip, and I guess I'll introduce you to Culture McDonald. He's the big cheese, and he'll tell you all about the product, and it's really cool. There's a lot of things you'll, you'll like about this. I mean, if you're tired of pulling those mats out of the traders, this is for you. And it, it's, uh, it's it, I sort of saw this product, it was on playgrounds, merry-go-rounds. They did it so the kids wouldn't hurt themselves falling off because it is got a cushion to it. So that means it's got a cushion for your horses, for anything you want to use this for. And it's uh, made, made up of ground up tires, but I'll let uh, Coulter tell you all about it. So Coulter, welcome to the show. Thanks, Ken. How, how are you today? Well, I'm fair to part of cloudy Colorado. It's morning, it's five below zero. We had a eight inches of snow. So yeah, this is Colorado. Perfect. We're, we're about the same up here in Alberta. Yeah, I'm not ready for winter. I never am. It's just how it hits you. But this uh, this product, which is really cool, and I've had some experience, like I say, with it. And tell me all about it, you know, you know how it works and what you do with it. So, uh, well, I'll walk you through the installation process on a floor. Uh, a lot of people think that because it's porous, you're going to be damaging your, your floor, your aluminum or wood or whatever it be. But... Uh, in the installation process, we, we take and we either acid etch or, or hand grind the substrate, uh, drilling the holes about 16 inches apart, and then uh, we lay a primer down, which seals the, the aluminum floor. And then uh, we go ahead and we, we hand trowel our, our rubber and binder mixture on top of that. So anything that, that you have will go through the, through the rubber floor, find basically the membrane, which is our primer, and then out through the holes. So uh, with our floors, we, uh, you know, the, the substrate's protected for a while. Um, we've had some floors that we've taken out just to look and see what it looks like after a few years, and it looks just like the day that we put the floors in the trailer, so. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and this is, you know, it, it's like I say, I've seen it used a lot of different places, and we've used it on my horse trailer. We had it on my uh, on my Logan coach, and I watched them trowel it in like you just cement floor, and it did a depth gauge on it. And it was great, and it cured out like in one day, and then we were able to start using it. But you know, I use it for everything. You got good traction. And, you know, horses if they start pawing this thing, you know, this you've actually got like a repair kit for it too, as I recall. Yeah. So we uh, one of our one of our dealers actually came up with uh, with what we call Stomp Guard, and it basically one of the problems that we we only we run into with the floors is if you have a horse that uh, continually paws, they will they'll damage the floor. Um, so we'll go in there and, and, and fix the, the paw hole basically. And then we'll take our super rubber filler, which is our rubber filler that we use in vet clinics and that such thing. And, and we'll, we'll do underneath the front feet and they can't, uh, they can't damage it or, or anything like that. So it really helps with that. Well, that's good. Cause you use these on cattle traders too. And you know, cattle, they, they, they stop, they never stop moving and they just tear up everything they can. And so, yeah, exactly. you know, that, that's good. And you got, might even just put the, you know, you also have another uh, version get that totally seals up so water doesn't go through it. And that might be a good one to use with cattle. I don't know. But uh, this will eliminate that mat. Because I've seen what I call elderly people like me trying to pull 200 pound mat <laughs> out with two vice grips. And that's why people don't clean their mats or clean them, clean them out because they're so heavy. They're like 200 yeah, pounds, it, you know. You know, most, most people say they do it about twice a year. Um, in in theory, if you're running mats, you should be pulling your pulling your mats once a week, um, because you're letting all that urine and stuff sit underneath there, 
it's you know there's lots of salt and urine and things like that so it's gonna rot your floor yeah that makes sense because you know that's if you want to get a longer life out of your trainer that's what you got to do because you know that's one of the hardest parts of the trainer that you, you use them they they have problems just you know like the wiring and tires those are all things yeah. you have to maintain on a cotton picking trailer but yeah, and then this horse here, he's got the shoes on, so you can just imagine if he was an ambunctious stud, he might be doing all kinds of things in there. But the cushion of it is so cool, too. That's why, I, like I said, first time I saw it was on playgrounds, and the kids fall off the merry-go-round, and they just land up and bounce up and take off again. And that's what, that's nice because, you know, there's a lot of flooring out there that's hard as a rock, and it's got to be hard because, you know, the poor animals are jumping inside this tin can, and after a while, yeah. you know, besides the echoing, the noise, and you got to worry about that hard surface. It's so good to have a cushioned floor. And then they can just, I think mats and somebody are going to be just obsolete. That's just how it's going to be. But yeah. Well, I, I think uh, one of the most overlooked things with, uh, with horse trailers is actually putting your horse in the trailer. So, you know, we, we, we think of all these options to, you know, to help us out and all this other stuff. But, you know, it's one of the most dangerous things for a horse, and it's one of the most overlooked things that, you know, for the horse. So I think, you know, anything that anything that we can do to help them as far as shock absorption or traction or anything like that, I mean, I think is, is better for them. I mean, a lot of guys that are rodeoing or whatever with performance horses, I mean, they need them to, to be working all the time. So you can't, uh, can't afford to have them sore or whatever, so. Well, that's true. The better you make the ride for the horse, the better they perform when they get there. And all the way around, that's, that's, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, that's uh, – and, you know, even mats. Mats don't give you a whole lot of cushion. They're not very thick, and then you're on top of a hard floor where there's aluminum or wood. But, you know, yeah. having the fact that you can take and let that urine run out, we'll show you those videos here toward the end that I took with my Logan coach. And I really appreciate that. We use it for so many things. Of course, I'm a journalist, so I review trucks, traders, and accessories. And so I, we use water totes. 300 gallons of water in the back and put them on there. We could just pull the plug and let the water run right through. It was, it was really cool. Yeah, there you go. Eh? <laughs> yeah, we use them for a lot. And we'll get to some more pictures here because there's so much to, to see and many options you have with these. But uh, yeah, and that's that's cool. We, now, the, the, the one you talked about, the uh, stop guard, that makes it a solid surface or that just seals it up? Or what does that do? Yeah, that would make it a solid sealed surface. So uh, non-porous. Okay, so the water just run out the back end or when you hose it out. And that's... Yeah, that's exactly. So, yeah, that, that's so cool is to forget the match. Just take the garden hose, hose it out on your garden, and, and you're all ready to go. Now, that's just awesome. But, uh, you know, too, I watch them put these in there, and, they, you know, they trowel them in like you do cement. And, you know, the, can an average person do it, or should they always go to the dealer that has them? Uh, typically, you should go to, uh, to a certified installer. Um, you know, it, it does look easy, and it's and it's uh, not hard once it's learned how to do. But especially with the, the livestock applications, uh, you need to have somebody that you know has some experience putting them in. That's right. And I went to the Logan Coots factory and watched them put it in. They used a toothpick and they measured everything. And it worked out great. And then it yeah. cured. You know, they got it set overnight and it cured, and it was fantastic. And I actually never had to repair anything. I hold horses. I hold everything in my trailers. Eighteen. Yeah, but... I'm just you know nuts on that stuff. But what's this picture of? This would be a, a sealed wash rack or a stock area that we did. Um, so this would have the, the uh, super rubber filler is what we call it on it. Okay. So it's just, it's just like the porous application. So it's still all hand troweled out. Um, we use a primer as well. And then once it's, uh, once it's hardened up, then we go back and we, we apply the super rubber filler, which is basically a, a liquid rubber. And it'll, it'll go down and fill all the pores and, and make it a basically a solid solid mat. Well, that's great. You've really improved this product since when I used it last. That's awesome to have an option like that. And then you can use it in so many places. Like it looks like a bunch of stalls using it for the runway. Yeah. And then that looks like a wash bay for the horses. But uh, yeah, that's that's just super great. So you, you can just kind of fill everybody's needs. This looks like it's kind of in the office area of the stalls. Yeah, and you can put pretty pictures on the floor. There you go. I love that. That's like one of your symbols, isn't it? Yeah. No, we can do uh, we can do any logo or, or letters or a brand or anything like that. So that's awesome. I, I saw that on your website, and we'll put that at the bottom of in the description along with the NATDA uh, link. So I can go to your website because I know this is a video I watched. Open. It shows the horses jumping in there. You can see where they pawn to get in there, and then yeah. you, know, that you can solve that problem. 
and that's great. Is this a cell barn? What's this? Uh, that's actually uh, at, a, at a show cattle barn. It's where they tie up. Uh, it's basically like a 70-foot wash rack. Yeah. So they, they'll tie cattle there, and, and they, they, they tie them there to get them used to standing for the shows and stuff like that. So that's, that's what that one is. Well, that's awesome. You know, that's, that's uh, most of these places end up using like cement or straw or sand, and this is a much better thing. You can just clean this right off. And that, uh, that should work well. How, how thick is this? Uh, typical installation would be three quarters of an inch thick. Okay, so it's a little thicker than a mat. That's good. Now there's a ramp trailer. That's something like how I would use stuff. And that's just so awesome. I mean, I've got ATV. I got toy hauler trailers too. And they've got, you know, rubber mats in them. I wish they had this kind of a surface on that ramp and everything. That's, uh, that's a good idea. Now, is this a stud service stall? What is it? That's a, that's actually a salt spa for horses. So really, uh, a horse will go in there and it's chilled water with salt in it and they'll stand in there for about 20 minutes. And just for ligaments and stuff like that. Wow. Well, that's too cool. Well, that's what you want if you're working with injured horses. You'd want to have a nice cushion like that. That makes a lot of sense. And this is somebody's shop, or what's this? Um, that would be a – that's a – I'm not sure what that is. Okay. I've, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> this is a, a gazebo that we did. Uh, it's at a school just down the road from where I live. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's, you know, that's softer. I mean, I'm getting old and I like soft flooring and, you know, cement will wear you out. I've been to a lot of expos where you walk all day and it kills you. you yeah. Know, better flooring. Yeah, that's good. Oh, right. You've got, you got sidewalk replacement going on here. Yeah, exactly. Over some, uh, some uh, old concrete there. Yeah, that's cool. That's one way to fix concrete. This is somebody's cool patio. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like is this is where the Amish are, where they can tie up their horses, or what is this? Uh, that's uh, somebody's saddling area in uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, those guys are getting ready to ride down here. It's finding them cool off enough you can get on your horse in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like, like another horse stall or whatever that yeah. is. Yeah, that's just awesome. And you, got, you can get different colors to it, too, or... Yeah, we've got uh, we've got six different colors: um, tan, red, gray, black, green, and blue. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, you know, people do that. They color coordinate their horse trailer with the truck. Now they can color coordinate the floor with the trailer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's awesome. That looks like a nice arena, whatever that is. Yeah, that's a that's a barn. All right, a, a stall to chase cows up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's good. Then you hose that out, because like the where I'm used to doing it, you know, we just got a bunch of sand and you're always stepping and stuff, and this would be nice. Yeah, exactly. There's a runway up to the chutes. Yeah, that is that is cool. I'm so glad you added this, a solid option like that, because now I like the course idea, and we'll show you videos here in just a little bit, but yeah, there's times when you want to get rid of the urine. Sometimes you want to just go a different direction with where it's flowing. But no, this is this is good. This looks like a – is this an, a cell barn too, or what's this? No, this is a – that would be like an open-air barn in Phoenix. Those would be paddocks there, and then that's kind of the, the breezeway, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's just too cool. It looks like people are using it all over the place. So that's uh, – I'm glad you got it. Now here's the video. Let's see if I can start this up. This is so cool how that works and it just runs right through. I mean, you know, some places you might want to go, you're going to go back to nature and then sometimes you don't. So uh, it gives you some options, you know, just the big chunks to scoop out or hose out. So I like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I love showing this because it's amazing how fast it goes through there. Those, those holes you push in. Yeah, this is just another one. But it's, I, I thought it was a great idea because this way all your urine goes out back to nature. And hey, that, that's all cool products. You've got a lot of good pictures there. And now do you have a dealer network? I do. We, uh, we actually manufacture out of, out of Olds here and Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we've got a dealers in six Canadian provinces. And I'm not exactly sure how many we have in, in the United States. Uh, somewhere around 15. Uh, we're, we're starting to work our way out onto the East Coast, 
So uh, I think there's lots of uh, lots of opportunity over there. Um, we kind of have the, you know, we have dealers in Oregon, Washington, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. So we've kind of got the, the western side of the states covered, um, but we're continuing to continue to grow. Yeah, that's a good thing. Maybe I can get to the Arizona dealer. I want to go to one of your dealers and watch them install it and video it because that's, that's people always like to know how that works. And you've got it on your website too, showing them how they travel it in and how they dump it in and, you know, mix it all up. And, and it's all recycled materials. That seems to be the big thing these days. Everybody wants to know you're recycling stuff and being green and helping the environment. So it's always nice to see that. And otherwise, it go to waste. You know, you don't want to see a bunch of tires getting burned up or just buried somewhere. It's good to have a purpose for it. So I, I like what you're doing, Coulter. Thank you. Now, another thing that's cool about your product, Coulter, is you've already got the floor. You don't have to add stringers. You don't have to do anything. Yet. It just goes on top of the floor. So you've got all that extra support without having to modify the frame of your trailer. I really like that, the way you've done that. That's, that's, a, that's a good product. Yeah, exactly. With and with our product being adhered to the to the floor substrate, it actually makes it makes it stronger, or adds some strength to the to the floor itself. So, yeah, that that beats up and adds stringers because I know what that's like. You got to pull all that stuff out of there, and you know, screws all break off and all that. But no, that's awesome. I, I like that. So, anything else you want to bring up other than people need to go to your virtual reality at NATDA? Uh, no, other than that, um, you know, with uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know what else to. What else to tell you? <laughs> hey, tell some jokes. Come on, you're in Canada. Tell us some American jokes. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know any. <laughs> no, uh, no. I'm looking. Looking forward to getting down to uh, to Arizona for the winter, and uh, you know, we we keep pretty busy down there in the winter. Um, yeah, we're just uh, we're looking to grow our grow our dealer network. Uh, there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of space. Um, we do have a map on our on our website kind of shows where all of our dealers are um yeah and just keep uh keep putting the, the best floor and it's out there in trailers well that's awesome well i'll put the you know link to your website on this video and you have a guest house out there because i may need to go somewhere warm this winter if it keeps staying like it is this week i i, I do actually oh, <laughs> right. oh, man. we're <laughs> kicking butt now i like that idea yeah well, cool. Well, thanks, Coulter, and uh, we'll get all your information in there so people can find you, and hopefully it'll go to the virtual NATDA trailer show and watch in your booth and ask your questions, text it in there, so you can answer some questions we didn't cover today, and that's great. Well, thanks, Coulter, and thanks for watching this, folks. Yeah, it was uh, good to meet you, and uh, yeah, hopefully we're, we're talking more in the future. Well, this is awesome. Yes. Go check them out. Hoofbrick.com. Next week, same time, same channel.